I got the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch lights, Timmy and Tommy's Aloha Edition, and Isabelle's Aloha Edition. We're gonna take a look at these designs and I'll tell you if I think it's worth it. I'll also show you how to redeem your free games because yes, each one comes with a download code for New Horizons. Nintendo rarely includes a game at no extra charge, so that's pretty awesome. I can already tell you these buttons look so good contrasting with the color of the Switch and they're not overdoing it there with the little Animal Crossing logo. Ooh. This thing looks awesome. It, it looks really freaking good. Again, these colors just super pop. It looks very pink, especially with the white on there. Maybe almost salmon pink, if you're curious as to what this color actually looks like. Now, admittedly to me, I think the turquoise is just not as exciting. Let me know what you think. The Timmy and Tommy edition just has that kind of like camping out vibe with the turquoise and the brown, which makes sense for them, especially at the beginning of the game. This thing is awesome. Oh man, I just think the pink looks so cool. But let's be real, they both look really cool. Now clearly the Switch Lite is quite a bit smaller than the OLED Switch. That's a pretty big difference in screen size. This also means your battery life is gonna be shorter as well. But there's no rumble here, so that should save a little bit. And you still have gyro and amiibo support. As for the games, anything that supports handheld mode is good. But hey, if you're playing a game that needs Joy-Con, you can still connect them wirelessly. Just keep in mind that the Switch Lights cannot be docked. Even if you get it to work, nothing will happen. It just, nothing will show up on your screen. The sticks on the Switch Lite are just like the regular Joy-Con. This does mean, unfortunately, that you can get stick drift, and then you can't swap out the controllers, so keep that in mind. Also, while the buttons look cool on the lights, they're not as tight, they're not as springy, they're just a little bit more loose. You do get a D-pad, though, which is pretty cool, and from my experience, these things are very durable, although it does feel like a cheaper piece of equipment, because it is. I cannot get enough footage of this, just because it looks so awesome, in my opinion. Full game download to be downloaded on included system. So there's actually directions right here that tell you what to do. You'll have to set up an internet connection on the Switch, sign into the account you want to use, and then follow on-screen instructions to begin download. Animal Crossing New Horizons is one of the best games on Switch. You can easily put 1,000 hours or more into this game. Considering the Switch Lite is only $200 and it plays all the same games as the $350 OLED Switch, yeah, I'd say this is worth it. There are so many games available on Switch. A lot of them are cheap or free, and there are still more games coming. Please hit that subscribe button for more unboxing videos on the Nintendo Switch and whatever else Nintendo comes out with next, and then tap on those boxes you see on your screen right now, and I'll see you over there in another video. Thanks, everyone. Sign into the account you want to use, and then follow on-screen inspections, and then follow on-screen protections. Nailed it.